And now we're moving on to a piece of news that I am super, and I mean super excited for. Uh, I can't believe I'm able to talk about this. This is actually happening, uh, at least in 2018, this is actually happening. Uh, this is a piece of news to report. Uh, and I'll talk about why, to me, it means so much in a little bit. But let's actually talk about the piece of news itself first. Uh, just beyond, it has been announced by Discotech Media... Uh, I want to make sure I get the con right at the Otacon event that they are actually licensing Just Beyond and it's going to be available on Blu-ray. Should note though it's SD Blu-ray. That matters. I will mention why that also matters a little bit later. But before I do, before I talk about SD Blu-ray, before I talk about, um, you know, just Discotech and how I'm really excited about what they're doing and I'd love to talk to them. Uh, is to see who's the fan of Just Be On There. Like, who was like, this must happen. I want to find you, and I want to shake your hand. Uh, so, why does this make me so happy? This makes me so happy not just because it's something that you, you would think would never come out here, right? That's the first, the obvious. Like, oh, well, Matt, of course you think this will never come out here, and the fact that it is makes it happen. Yes. Oh, some would think, oh, I'm a huge fan of Just Beyond. Actually not. I've only seen the opening. I did a, a top five uh, Metal Heroes openings on this channel. If you're watching this on our Teacher Productions YouTube channel, you can check that out. I've done that for, you know, one of our top five uh, episodes. So I like the opening, never seen the show. So why am I intrigued? Why am I happy? Uh, because for me, this kind of shows not just that Tokusatsu is becoming more popular. Because some would think, oh, it's becoming more popular. To me... That's not what it is necessarily. I mean, I'm not saying that it would be bad if it did or it would be bad if it is. My thing is, it's finally companies realizing that this is a market that people are willing to take their money, right? Imagine this is all my money. It, there's nothing in my hands because I don't have any, but imagine all of my money is in my hands. If you're watching the video of this, if you're confused listening to the podcast, my hands are cuffed with imaginary money in my hands. I'm willing to give it to companies. Please, please, sir, can I have another? Can I have another DVD? Can I have another, um, you know, Blu-ray? I just want to be able to support, be it, you know, Toei, other companies producing tokusatsu like Subaraya, whoever else, from shows, for shows that I enjoy, that I've enjoyed throughout the years, I just want to be able to support these companies and have DVDs on my shelf. I don't want to sit there and have, you know, Hong Kong bootlegs, which I don't have Hong Kong bootlegs, or, you know, VHSs are nice. I actually have some really amazing, colorful Car Ranger VHS tape. Why? Because they're really, they look really beautiful. They do. But still, uh, when it comes to the, when it comes to um, just tokusatsu in general, we've been, you know, as a, as a community, we've been sitting here like, guys, we would support a release, guys, we would support a release, and not only do we have uh, stuff, you know, coming to different streaming services, which I'll mention a little bit later, we have streaming services, we have DVDs like the ones by Shout Factory, which I have a bunch of Super Sentai on DVD from Shout Factory. Uh, not all of them, sadly, but I definitely want to, um, if, I, if I can get the money together, I really want to um, pre-order Jetman, because that one means a lot to me, because it's like, oh damn, pre, you know, pre-Z Ranger, that's intense. You know, that, that could mean a lot for the future of Super Sentai coming out in the U.S. if you support that. But, that's a different story, we talked about that at Kikaku Corner, we're talking about Just Beyond right now. Um, it just, it's something that... Again, we've, we've been asking for it, we've been trying to throw money around, and it feels like companies are really starting to understand, like, hey, this is a market. There's a market here. And it's like, yes, yes, there is, right? There's people who have been saying this for years. And I'm not saying that there's been that many tokusatsu fans since, you know, people started discovering it, uh, for, in some people's cases, in the early to mid-2000s. Um, but still, now more than ever, I think it's like, guys, there's enough of us. We can we we can support this. Uh, so really happy. What's interesting though is if uh, and the picture that you guys can see on the screen here. If this is the actual picture that because um, it's in the article, Bryce, and I assume this is the actual picture that Discotech released. It's funny that they're going with Space Wolf. Uh, that's Toei's official out of Japan. Like that's their. Um, oh, how, how was the word I'm looking for? That's their. Uh, like their official name that they want it to be released, their official international licensing name. I think that's the best way to uh, to phrase it. There's a bunch of other shows that have some, in my opinion, really interesting kind of funny names as well. Um, because this one, of course, if anyone knows, uh, this one is not Space Wolf. I'm pretty sure it's listed as another name. 
Uh, I'm pretty sure this was Mega Beast Investigator just beyond. Am I am I wrong there? Let me see here before I put my foot in my mouth. No, no, I was right. I knew I was right. Uh, online, it's listed as the actual translation for uh, Kyoju Tokuso Just Beyond is actually Space Mega Beast Investigator Just Beyond. But Toei is like, no, we would like to go with Space Wolf. And I'm just like, y yeah. Space Wolf. I I'm down with that. You know, <laughs> sure, Space Wolf. Hell yeah. Um, but anyway, so when it comes to Space Wolf Just Beyond, uh, very excited these coming over here. But the reason why SD uh, Blu-ray matters, if you guys don't know, Disco Tech has done this before. I don't think this is actually a bad practice. It's not, in my opinion, it's not disingenuous. But I do want to inform some people so that people don't get confused. These are not Blu-ray masters, nor is this Blu-ray upscaling. It's neither. What it is, is it's taking SD files, i.e. files you'd find on a DVD, and it's just plumping them all, throwing them all together onto potentially one Blu-ray, and it's maybe two, perhaps, and it's going to be every single Just Beyond episode on one or two Blu-rays. Now, why is this the case? Why did they not put this out on DVD? They could have, but let's be real here, it's, it's intense to have uh, Shout Factory especially if there might be issues with discs or something like that, to have, like, Shout Factory releasing 8 to 10 discs per Sentai set. That's a lot. Now, I'm not saying they should ditch the DVDs. I really do like the DVDs. But I don't think it would be a problem if they could if um, Shout Factory released SD Blu-rays of uh, a certain uh, Super Sentai. They probably don't. Because if Toei ever has the chance to release Masters, I'm sure Shout Factory doesn't want to muddy the waters or anything like that. So I get why uh, they would do what they're doing, uh, you know, what Shout Factory is doing with DVDs. But when it comes to Disco Tech with, um, when it comes to Disco Tech with Just Beyond, I, I perfectly understand 100% why they're doing this. I don't find a problem with it. They also did it with uh, Samurai Pizza Cats. Now, that's not the actual Japanese name. They did with the Japanese version, not with the English version. Uh, Jibanyan something. Nyadon something like that. I don't remember the actual name. Either way, they did it with that. Um, so I'm fine with them doing it here. You know, again, I, in my opinion, right, I know some of you guys might not like it, but I'd rather have this set for 30 to $40 versus a 50 to 60 dollar i know the prices go down but a 50 to 60 dollar super sentai set from shout factory so this set might actually be cheaper because they're going with blu-ray uh and also would like to note too blu-ray isn't more expensive to uh to print out with blu-ray it's actually also just a few cents just like uh, physical media in general the prices have gone really down so when it comes to printing out these blu-rays it's actually not as not as expensive as you might think so i'm okay with that um, either way, wow. Like, the fact that this is, uh, huh, the fact that this is coming out, it, it's a Metal Hero show, if you guys don't know, by the way, if you guys haven't looked it up yet, uh, it's a Metal Hero show from Toei, not a Space Sheriff show. I don't know if Space Sheriffs, maybe Toei's a bit more protective, or this is Discotech's way of trying to dip their foot into the market. Either way, if you can, support this release. Um, we don't know when this is coming out. No release date has been announced, but you can bet your ass I will be talking about it in the near future when we get a release date on this baby. Wow. Just beyond. Ha. Huh. Who would have freaking imagined? 2018. 2018.